Hey people and welcome to the Demon Nunchucks Let's Play of Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3, as the title says. This is one of our favourite games, isn't it Alex? Yep. If you want to know what a Gundam is, or is really wondering why we are playing this, uh, because it's basically a Japanese Transformers and that's got to be cool, right? Surely? Oh. Why do people fight? I, I can't ask that. The smallest skirmishes can grow into storms that ravish an entire world. And kind of guess what we'll be doing. Those are mobile suits. Or Gundams. Those are Gundams there. Oh, yeah. Gundams are the type of mobile suits. Gundams are like highly sophisticated, awesome mobile suits. This is based off the series that was an anime that is pretty damn awesome. The mobile suit Gundam. Forget what that Gundam is called. It's called the Master Gundam. And it, that's one of my favourites. Turn A. Yes, I know it. Yeah, it's a butterfly thing. But believe me, I don't like it just because of that. We just got home. Well, that is a big zam. And they are the most useless Gundams in the well, mobile suits in the game. Right there, that was shooting at it. Probably not. Unicorn Gundam. Kinda dangerous, don't you think? Going in the main cannon. Ah. Now here is basically an epic rivalry battle, basically. Basically, some of the characters in this game are like, no, we don't like war, oh no, it's terrifying, and others are just like, um, war is awesome, what are you talking about? Am I right by that, Geordie? Uh, you yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some people love war, some people think, no, oh, war is, no, we don't want war. Some of them even have costumes designed for war. I know. You, you will see later on in the game. Let's say during an attack to use emergency gas. Now this in this we'll be doing a single player, but for every battle we'll switch over. This, this is Geordie by the ice battle. Yes. Combat start. First proceed down the path to enter the neutral field. This is you just see the tutorial. green arrow there? That's me. The grey field is neutral. The neutral fields are captured when an ace pilot, including the player, enters them. Examine all the forces, advanced routes, and decide how to advantageously get and then capture the neutral fields. Complete with epic music. Music in this game is very epic. enemy reinforcements to appear. I couldn't play this pair that, to be honest. Oh, do I have to? Seriously? You've got to try it, the tutorial. You know nothing. Fine. Well, that's what they think, and they always think that. Oh no! Oh, barriers! So it tells me to enter, then it blocks me off. Wait, you can jump. Look Can't at the you? green line displayed on the map. This is a barricade. No one can pass through these while they are closed. Certain conditions must be met in order to open these barricades. These conditions vary on the situation. This time, viewing this message and securing three ally allied vehicles will capture the battle. Vehicles? Fields. Fields? Sorry. I screwed that up. Yeah, you kind of did. Oh, okay. I think I need to get closer to my... There we go. Now, enemy fields differ from neutral fields and require more effort to capture. The defending enemy forces must be on destroyed at the field gorge at the top of the screen must reach zero in order to capture to be possible. I I'm screwing this up. No, you should probably Basically, read Basically, like we'll explain it, okay? Right, go in the field, you'll see the field name at the top, and if it's red, an enemy is in there. Now, the red bar shows how much defense it's got. Obviously, when it reaches the bottom, it has nothing. Kill mobile suits allowed in the bank. You will have captured the field by then. Now, it's just 
Now, basically, people don't like this, because, oh, no, it's so repetitive. Yes, all it is is X, X, Y. Now, that isn't for the Xbox controls. It is for the PS3, and I have it on the PS3. But, yeah, when that happens, you can see why we like it so much. Yeah. Now, once you have captured the field, they all bow down for some random reason. And if Definitely you hit random yeah. reason. And if you hit them, once, instant kill. More often than not. Now, in the top left... Oh, right. Top right, pay attention to the battle gorge displayed at the top right of the screen. This gorge details the battle effectiveness of participating forces. This battle gorge is decreased by defeating ace pilots and capturing fields. This gorge is vital piece of battlefield information affects pilot redeployment as well as enemy commander appearance. Basically, it's morale from the old Dynasty Warriors games. It, when it reaches zero, you can't respawn, and if you die, you can't catch that yet. Can well, I not capture this? No, not it's yet. Oh, we all make sure, seriously. You use the catapult later on. Spoilers. It's not really a spoiler, because you'll see it in this video. Well, yeah, we've, we've got time as long as Jordan hurries up. This mobile suit factory, you have entered the strategic point. Yeah. There are multiple strategic points in the battlefield and the vital elements to any battle strategy. Capturing all strategic pet points will empty the enemy battle gorge. Yeah. Similarly, if all enemy strategic points or all fields are captured by the enemy, the Allied Battle Gorge will end it. Yeah, stuff like that. You know. Yeah, we're not going to read it anymore. You can read it on the screen, just pause the video. But we'll be explaining it ourselves. The Mobile Suit Factory, once captured, will restore your own Allied Battle Gorge. Yeah, so it is helpful. Um, now, you can tell whether a field is important or strategic, as it said, because if you look at the map, some of the fields have got the, well, looking tools basically um, constantly going around them that, that shows makes that it strategic yeah yeah um, now if Jordy presses B here when he lines it up oh. some fields the defense commanders deployed to them I have to destroy all of them to capture the field you can tell whether it's got commanders by looking at the top where it says the mobile suit factory it'll have three stars there but it's got three here because they're the commanders now if Jordy actually presses B now there we go that is a special move and all Gundams can do it, but all Each mobile suits can do it. Each mobile suit has its own different special moves. Some of them have after effects, like here I've entered Trans 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 Dam, Dam. which increases my battle um, effectiveness. Att Basically, range. attack is so much more powerful. And you better hurry this up. Oh, yeah. Capture the cat. Now, there are many, many, many kinds of Gundams here. These ones here that he is just simply wiping the floor with are just grunts. When he gets on to fighting officers, that is when it gets difficult later on in the game. Or, that depends how powerful your mobile suit is. Yeah, because you do have levels in this. Generally, there's an often, often considered accepted rule that whatever is pink in this game is strong. Watch yeah. this. Pink kills stuff, captures stuff. If it's pink, it works a catapult has been captured. After capturing a catapult, you'll be able to teleport to another field. Now, there is a jump ability in this game, if Jordy just presses right bumper now. There you go. He can hold that down as long as he has the boost bar, the very top left... Oh, damn, I forgot to explain that. Right. Top left of the s corner of the screen, you'll see a green bar, that is your health. You'll see a pink bar, which is for when you can do your... Special move. Yeah. And now, the blue bar is your first move. If, the, if it gets all to the, if it goes to the very bottom, Jordy will show here, which is used it all up, you can't boost, you're in overheat. You can't really do anything for the boost now. Or until jump. It, until it does that, which means it's right there, just to leave it there so it regenerates quicker. Yes. Very, very important. Chat to the advantage. Now, if Jordy jumps and then presses B here, you can see that the special move differs. The and lost race until it race until it's worth it, you know? Yeah, because so basically, race, if you're in a whole group like that, if he does it now, huge effect. Now, if you do this with some of the Gundams, you can basically take over the base instantly. Indeed. Very, very, very powerful. Now, as you can see, the blue square that's lit, lit up in the top left corner now, that is your partner gauge. The partner gauge is where you've been battling for so long, your partner will then attack for you, which you press, what is it, right trigger, right trigger and leave. Yeah. Now, of course, yeah, 
partner comes down, he then thinks it's wrong. Yep. Now Bernardo there is in what he's called the Unicorn Gundam. We are set sooner, and we are in the double Eliza. Yes, that is it. Now this is an officer. You can tell because his name is above it, and he looks completely different. Now what Geordie's doing now is he's pressing Y repeatedly without any X buttons to do his shot, basically a gun. If he just shows here, I'm too. Yeah, he's just doubled in speed as well. Two so. out Transam is very worth it. Now, if he wanted to, he could just go over to that top right field on the map and just take it. But there's no point. We pretty much have this battle. Indeed. But if I destroy an enemy commander or capture an enemy field, that gorge will go down. Oh, um, oh, looks like you've got unable to enter and exit. Like you you got, oh, now you can. Um, in shit. some cases, you cannot enter fields even if there's no barricade. But now I can. Simple as. Pay attention to the enemy battle gorge. Yeah, I've just explained all that. Also, it, it applies the same. So if I die, or an ally dies, or an allied field is captured, then oh. that blue gorge will go down. The blue gorge is your um, morale, basically. And the red gorge is the enemy's. Now, as you can see, there's not really much of a fight in the enemy HQ. Oh, I know. Now, this is the enemy commander. Normally, they'll get a cutscene to show it to them. Now, as you can see now, the bar, the red bar, is completely gone. That means that if an enemy officer dies, that's it. They're not coming back. Normally, they'll come back. If I defeat the commander, which is marked by that sort of circle next to his name, I will win the match. Now, you can press B now, Jordy. You remember that? And also you can do Banaja. Or as I like to call him, Banana. Banana League. OP time. Now, as you can see in the morale bar, there's a white line that's separating... ...that's going straight down the middle. Now, if the morale is over that white bar, the turrets in the HQ will be active. But as you can see, because we got the morale completely before that, there was no turrets meaning that the HQ is so much easier to destroy. Now often I've had it before where a HQ is in my way to get to yeah. a very specific field. Oop, here's a cutscene. The pilots beckoned by it had no idea that a new conflict awaited them. Yet their involvement was not by chance. Linked by their shared experience in combat, they find themselves in the midst of a mysterious war started by an unknown force. We know who they are. I can't get a bearing. Where is this place? Wait. I'm getting a reading. Another mobile suit? Perhaps? Maybe? Nah. They caught me off guard. I blacked out and woke up Did here. you know? Looks like we're in the same boat. I was investigating a strange... You're not on a boat. We need to ascertain the situation. We can't leave our mobile suits either. Mm -hmm. I may have something that can help. I'll send over some data. Did you know? Is this a map of the Now it's a picture. Yeah. I was a picture? Around. Come on! This from Google it's Images. Me. Better check it out then. It's or maybe it's his background got. on his desktop. Perhaps. There's just one problem. One problem? What's that? There's a battle raging around there. And we have no idea. Now the characters here, as you can see, they're from series of Gundam. My turn. Oh fine. Yep, you can switch. Um oh right. Now here is the main menu where you'll be at the beginning of every battle. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you another battle here because we're almost out of time. But I'll explain this very, very, very quickly. Here you have your map there. Um, the you blue shows you. The grey is, you know, neutral. Yeah, and the, and the red, red is enemy. Anyway. So, as you can see, we have blue circles on... We, we have one blue circle on our screen. That is one of our officers. Yeah. Rare. Yeah. That's one of our armors, officers. The red square are enemy officers. You can go on unit field info and it will show you who they are. We are Amaro in the new Gundam and there are two soldiers in a Zegok and a Nemo. We're against a soldier who's in a Goof, a soldier who's in a Zaku 2 and another one. Now, if you look in victory conditions, you can see what we have to do in order to win. We're going to have to say goodbye here. Um, you also have settings, they switch partners and operators and select your skills. Sorry if this, informa if this video is a bit information heavy, but this game does have a lot to remember. When, once you've remembered it all though, it's pretty simple. Like, subscribe, comment on the video, and I hope you like this video. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, goodbye. See you later.